So welcome Plug-in India viewers for yet another real life EV story and uh, right here I have Sherry who's been driving the Nexon EV for last two years and they've done about 27,000 kilometers. So let's hear it from Sherry, the EV owner. Yeah, no, it was, um, it's very exciting, no, very exciting driving an uh, electric car. We were, um, we bought it end of 2020. So we were still fairly, we didn't know anybody who had an EV at that point. Uh, it was still fairly exciting to um, drive an EV. What happened in 2020 that you ended up buying an EV? All right, so no, my, we have two cars, you know, we had two cars and one of them was very old. So we had to sell it and we had to get another car. That was an ICE car. We would, oh, that was a, a CNG slash CNG ICE car. Slash ICE. So we were a little bit kind of worried about the environment even back then. Okay. But so that car went, we have another petrol car. Um, and so my my husband was the one who was very excited about buying a new car so you know was dragging me to these showrooms honda and this and let's look at that let's look at that and i just wasn't interested and i just said okay just pick one i don't care you know kia ria ria i just pick one i don't care hmm. because at that time i um, had really gotten into air pollution activism i was cycling everywhere okay. i said we shouldn't even be buying a car you know so then he kind of he's like do you want to look at evs and i said yes and suddenly like my yes. excitement and all joined and so then um, so he said, all right, you know, I mean, I wasn't really thinking about it because it's still very new. One thing that uh, Tata's, we, normally we wouldn't have thought so much of what buying a Tata, but uh, it's a, you know, this Nexon generally has a great review and the Nexon EV also had amazing reviews. So uh, we took it for a test drive. Even that was tough to do it. There weren't too many available for test drives. Um, first time we bought one we didn't there was no charger around Gurgaon okay so we had there was one charger we had to find it drive out you know and wait for somebody else to finish charging charge our car but in about three weeks we got set up in our apartment and so after that charging has not been a problem at all okay. and now we have I mean 20 chargers within five kilometers of our house because all the malls have started installing okay. these chargers right so so charging so, really isn't a problem now hmm. so Sherry you stay in a big apartment complex and how many people are there Ish? There's 800 families. 800 families. Right, and right. how do you feel? I mean, you're the only EV owner there or are there other EV So owners? far, so far. But we're expecting there to be several more EVs soon. I think there are people um, on waiting lists. Okay. So we have installed, you know, three or four chargers. We've got a fast charger now in the apartment complex, three or four other chargers. But I do hope, you know, we, yeah. get, we get more people who, who okay. switch to EVs. So, I mean, uh, when, when, we, when one can spend actually 12 to 15 lakhs of uh, rupees buying a, you know, a car like an EV car and save a lot of money, why do you think people are still buying uh, petrol or ICE cars? Well, I mean, part of the reason you save a lot of money is that the petrol prices are so high, right? Which I think it's something that you can't predict. You yes. can't. It's been that way. It just happened to have been that way for the last few years. And we expect it to be probably that way. But we, we don't know. It's, it's, it's high volatility. Um, but I think uh, a lot of it is that you know people are just unsure of a new technology. This is like the whole BlackBerry versus iPhone thing that people were hesitating, hesitating, and then there's a flood of everyone switching. Um, in India, also, I'm seeing that you know we we don't have that many influencers or celebrities. Like when we had the Tesla come out in the U.S., you have George Clooney's and the you know the Hollywood celebrities taking it up and and for a good cause, right? Not they can afford any car, but they're driving a Tesla, right? And here, I mean, where are the, you know, where are the celebrities who are doing that? Where are the Virat Kohli's and Amitabh Bachchan's who are going to set that example? And not just as an ad, right. you know, as the right thing to do. Because it's a city like Bombay, city like Delhi, you really need people to switch to EVs, right? For the yeah. pollution. And so we do have Gulpanag who's now got a Nexon EV. That's great. Hopefully things will improve. And uh, we will, like we saw Shah Rukh Khan coming for the Hyundai Ionic uh, launch and maybe... We can see Shah Rukh Khan driving an EV soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. So Sherry, it's been two years as we know and I'm sure you've had uh, servicing experiences and dealers and so what 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 has it been like? Well, you know, I mean, one thing that uh, I found with Tata, uh, we wouldn't have bought a Tata car a few years ago, but I think with Nexon okay. um, and Nexon EV especially, the build quality has been excellent and all. But we're seeing that the customer service centers that we go to for our routine maintenance, for, you know, for replacing parts or whatever, um, the experience is not very good. You know, it's, it's, there's no good waiting area. You're there with a whole lot of taxis and you're serviced at that level too. So compared to, you know, a Honda or a Kia, I mean, we'd really like... A, a more welcoming customer experience and also for times when we have to give the car for a few days you know we'd really like a loaner car to be a, a standard thing that we get a you know a better loaner car that right. we can use while we are giving our car for uh, 
for maintenance. For maintenance. And do you really think that a dedicated EV service center would uh, make a better experience? Yeah, I'm hearing that's coming up and I think that will be great. Um, but it should be within driving distance of us or I believe that they will just take our car there if there's a and they'll have the experts which is really what is needed because half the time you know the people in the local service center don't know about EVs it's a very new thing right so sure. they have to call somebody else or something so having a dedicated EV center especially in these large metros will be will be really important so uh, Sherry uh, tell me something more about like your daily routine and you know within Gurgaon what all where all do you go with your Nexon EV so we've kind of um, set up our life so we don't drive too much we have our office three four kilometers away it's school is three four kilometers for the kids okay. so all that you know the drives are very kind of tight we also cycle a lot but yeah you know like i used to take my kids horse riding a lot and there were these rough roads so i found this was great because there would be times when you could flooded and we get terrible flooding in gurgaon because we're not built with the infrastructure to deal with flooding right, very well right. And I was like, I can just take my EV and just go in and no problems, yeah, right? Yeah. So that was kind of a nice uh, feeling. F- yeah, for and then and my husband was like, you know, I don't think you get that we can't do that. <laughs> I was like, no, no, I, I can, you know. So a lot of cars would hesitate and pull over, and but I just gonna go in there. Okay. So it was good fun. Uh, I like that. I think that was the big difference about the EV. It's of yes. course it's a nice thing to drive otherwise. Yeah. So uh, I can see that your uh, audio says here 27,215 kilometers in two years. So okay, okay. I see a couple of lakhs that you've saved in petrol. Or I keep not telling, using petrol. I keep <laughs> telling people that. And I know this car is wasted on us because we don't drive that much. But people who have long commutes who, you know, live yeah. in Gurgaon but work in a neighboring town, they go to a factory or something. I mean, they would save so much money. Sure. And I mean, saving money is... It's really not the reason most people think of when they're buying an EV, but I mean, you you, you do see that in the two-wheeler, three-wheeler category, right? Like right. people are doing it purely out of economics, no other reason, um, just to save the money on the petrol. But I mean, part yeah, of it is yes, the, it is about saving the planet and being more greener, lesser right, right. fuel emissions, so that we, as we can see, there's so much smog outside, and uh, to reduce that, I mean, if you reduce the number of ice vehicles and we have more of these, it will definitely add on to the greener and a cleaner environment around us. Right, right, and so many people have this kind of false notion that, oh, but you're, you know, you're getting electricity from burning coal. But I think uh, that's just so ridiculous because where is the nearest coal uh, burning plant? Right. Not within 200 kilometers of any of our cities. Yes. And here, you know, these cars are burning it right in our faces, right in our kids' faces, right in the faces of cyclists and pedestrians, right? So exactly. whatever we can do to at least save the cities. Right, right. Now I think it's at around 40% of the grid is clean. Yes. And it's just increasing, you know, every year. So, and we will be, we've really committed a lot of money towards making it greener. Correct. So in many ways, and, and in coal burning plants, I mean, we can clean those up. Right. That's one plant. We can, you know, they've, they've, they were supposed to do this. We have this campaign going on um, mm. to get them to put filters on their scrubbers, right. which everybody else in the world does, right? Mm. Only for some reason, our coal burning plants are very well connected, so they're refusing to do it. Mm. But we can get that done. The biggest critique is coming from environmentalists who have always fought the fossil fuel companies you know so all they're saying is that you're just switching from one fossil fuel to the other why does it make a difference but we're saying it does it has a huge benefit in efficiency first of all plus we have this other source that is far away from most people and you know it can be cleaned up so i mean there is a i mean i don't think it's a completely like a why are you starting this environmental argument now we always had an argument against cars right right but i just feel like this is a much better solution for cities for sure true so, uh, so Sherry, uh, during your driving and at EV, so how do you plan your charging? Well, you know, um, so some things like the spontaneous trips. Suppose I want to make a spontaneous trip, you know, across the city. And like being Delhi, being NCR, being how as big as it is, you know, that's like a huge 30 kilometers out and back, right? Hmm. So if you only have 20% charge, which normally I wouldn't have charged overnight for, okay. you know, then you realize, okay, okay, I can't take it tomorrow. So, um, I mean, in our case, having a backup car uh, was a good idea. A lot of people can't do that, right? They can't, they only can maybe afford to have one car at a time. So, you know, maybe regular, uh, just kind of not letting it go below 30%, for example. Mm. So you always have enough charge that you can even go on a longer trip, no matter what. So we have to start thinking ahead a little bit that, okay, maybe we'll want to go to Delhi tomorrow. So we have to keep it charged. Uh, We don't want the battery to go too low because what if we have something come up the next day, you know? So... Uh, 
that there's that little bit of planning ahead that has to happen but i mean it's it's not that significant there's usually chargers everywhere if we go anywhere 90% of the charging does happen at home where you do an overnight charging and then you in the morning you back at your daily routine you go to office your daily routine of picking up your kids or other stuff right you yeah that's why whenever a lot of people say okay oh the problem is the government doesn't provide any chargers i said okay yes that's a problem but only for far away spots like when we went to tirthan valley we couldn't take this car because it was a little off the beaten path and we didn't yeah. want to deal with the kind of figuring out chargers and all that so that's where we need the chargers is to go out further out into the you know um, off the main highways and all and give yes. us charging spots there within the city i mean having chargers in every mall we are pretty well taken care of so <laughs> you currently i can see your ssc is at 19% so are you already getting anxious about uh, what if well you know at 10% your ac switches off which is a disaster if you're driving in the pollution right. because uh, my ac is kind of cleaning the air as it's as it's functioning right so um i'd rather we didn't go below 20 10% but we right. should be okay for this trip but you know you're thinking about that you're kind of always worried about that yeah. not always but as when, when you're driving when and you, you like uh, i mean if i knew that i was going to be driving a bit i would probably have charged my car last night so you your apartment complex is about how many uh, 800 uh, as you said 800 right, right. Uh, flat owners and how many people do have you just no just uh, is it just you or we hear that a couple of people have booked and are on the waiting list okay, but okay. so far as and far as i know it's just me so i don't know but it you know it really does break your heart because after this oh. came out we we kind of we told everyone that you know take it for a test drive you'll see how it is but still you know lots of people bought large diesel 30 lakh cars which right. easily could have been substituted oh, yeah. with EVs but i think it's just such a new thing that people take time to get their mind around it right that do i really want to be dealing with this completely new technology or should i wait till everyone else has adopted it right as i can see that you have the level 1 there and that is okay. i think the prime update so you do have it yes and I, and i believe in the last trip we made to the mountains we used the cruise control which was so that that is the prime that update, was the prime yeah. update yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. so that's really cool that you know your car is getting new features and it's uh, isn't that how do how do you feel about that yeah no it's 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 basically it's very a very new world kind of thing right that you don't even know that this is happening where the car is upgrading, upgrading. just by or somebody pushing some software out to it yeah. you know yeah so i mean that's what the future is going to be i suppose so sherry it's been 2 years and you've been driving an ev and So would you recommend an EV to your friends to family and to everybody? Oh yeah, we're highly recommending EVs to everyone. Um just it's been such a pleasure. You know, just uh, I mean you feel like you're driving there's no sound. You almost have to like honk to tell pedestrians that you're coming up behind them. You know, it's fabulous. Um we'll never buy an ice car again. I know that. Yeah. Nice.